Salutations. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yo, welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast, episode 107. 107. God damn, we got it right. <laughs> um, again, thank you for all the Patreoners who just got done listening to an episode. Yeah, we dropped it on Sunday. Uh, from now on, though, all Patreon, uh, the $7 tier, it's, we're going to be dropping episodes on Monday. Yeah. It's just a better day for us to drop it. And that way we can give you a little bit more energy. Yeah, yeah. We have the all weekend. We don't feel rushed and stuff like that. Yeah. But do appreciate y'all. If you're not part of the Patreon, please subscribe to the Patreon, the seven dollar tier, preferably because that's where you get the extra content. <laughs> all right, we're back because <laughs> there was a freaking fly in here somewhere. Yeah, but uh, appreciate all the Patreoners. Hey, keep sharing our stuff. Sometimes I know y'all see our sound under uh, other videos. Uh, just make sure they tag us. If they tag us, then we're we're fine with it because. Yeah. Yeah, we're good with it. <laughs> yeah. We don't need y'all over there trying to uh, get in arguments and shit. Talking about, this this the Crash Dummies, nigga. Give us our sound back. Hey, chill. <laughs> that's too early? <laughs> Go ahead, though. Hell you no, that's not too it early. It is too early. Stop, man. You just did it again. <laughs> hell no. Stop, bro. It's Tuesday. No. I have to edit this tonight. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> um, <laughs> Happy Juneteenth. Juneteenth, bro. Yeah. Juneteenth, you know what Juneteenth stands for? <laughs> Celebrating our freedom <laughs> Yeah I guess This was the day That slaves were set free Even though Realistically Slaves weren't set free Yeah Imagine But is that Is that I get that is a, But I'm just for saying, celebration. Imagine someone being like Okay let's say Me and you were slaves right And the owner come out And just be like Y'all free They not allowing us To have slaves no more And we turn around And he like Yeah y'all gotta get off My property <laughs> So we walk off his property, and what the hell else are we supposed to do? I mean, find a new life. It's better than being a slave. No, nah, they definitely, it was so easy to uh, get people back to be slaves because yeah. you stole something, you was going to be a slave again. You got to steal something to eat. You got to starve. You yeah. know, you know what some niggas that stayed. Wasn't there, um, <laughs> we had a parade I ain't leaving, in nigga. Milwaukee. We got stopped by a June team. We were on our way to the gym, and then <laughs> we got stopped by yeah, they started a June, June team parade. June team started at 2 p.m. <laughs> this nigga starting a parade at 2 p.m. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I was so confused because I kind of forgot. I, I feel like, especially when you don't work a, like an actual job, like a 9-to-5 job, the holidays don't really make a difference to, uh for you Right as, as you've experienced now Right <laughs> It's like Every day is kind of the same Like you don't get off of work So sometimes yeah. it doesn't correlate mm -hmm. It's just everywhere It gets a little bit busier We just notice like Damn it's a lot of traffic today Yeah Wait a minute These is regular niggas <laughs> Hold on We went to supposed the, to be at McDonald's nigga <laughs> We went to uh, We went to grab breakfast <laughs> We went to grab breakfast we were, I don't know why the capitalists came out at us. We were like, why are all these people here? <laughs> like, like, we What's own the place. What's going on with my neighborhood? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Start acting like Steph Curry. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, he, met, he came out with some. He said something that he don't want these people to look. They was going to do some affordable housing near yeah. him. And he said, nah. Oh, uh, he did? Yeah. He said, no, nah, that shit dead. He said, I love niggas, but I don't want them living near <laughs> that. me. Remember, I'm only half. Come on. Now. Don't do that. <laughs> That's so bad. No, but, but like, I saw some people are working on Juneteenth, which I just feels like kind of disrespectful. Because you know you're getting the 4th of July off no matter where exactly, you are. Exactly, yeah. Everything's closed on the 4th Damn of July. Damn near some places overseas begin the days off. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's not when, even American. When some white dudes in some wigs sign some fucking papers, then everybody get time off and shit like that. But when slaves get free, uh, niggas at work, but it's chicken in the lunchroom. I think. <laughs> you know, I think. Cause, chicken in the lunchroom. And it's not baked, You buddy. know, <laughs> some <not> jobs, <laughs> some companies have, like, set days where um, they give people off, right? Like, national holidays. And right. now, Juneteenth is now a national holiday, just a recent. Yeah. So now I think for them to, to take it off, they have to get rid of a national holiday. Another day. So I'm about to look up some national holidays, and you got to tell me which one. <laughs> so I got. don't know. Do we do Juneteenth <laughs> or National Pie Day? Come on, now. 3.145566. <laughs> 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 nah, Pi Day being a national holiday is insane. All right. We'll just be throwing niggas holidays. Ah, damn, these niggas riding. Here, 19th of June, nigga. Go on. If you're a, <laughs> if you're a racist business owner, what day <laughs> would you what day would you uh get rid of it for uh Juneteenth? So we got Independence Day, New Year's Day, Labor's Day. They say May's Day is a national holiday. What? We have Canada Day. What? 
Loyalty Day. Bro, that, you're These not getting national off. <laughs> no, 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 national. Yeah, I, I got to look major, national U.S. No, major national U- U.S. holidays. Break. Major. <laughs> that nigga Googling some bullshit. Major national <laughs> holidays. Mayonnaise Day? <laughs> All of that over June 10th? Okay, it just looks better now. <laughs> that definitely wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> nigga talking about uncircumcised day. All the burrito nigga niggas like, hell yeah, nigga. <laughs> so we got New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day, Washington's birthday. Birthday, Memorial Day, Juneteenth, Labor Day, um, Independence Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Washington's Day. So, what day would you not give your your employees off? You gotta for? be George Washington. Nigga had wooden teeth, dirty ass nigga. I didn't even know we celebrate his birthday. I don't think we do. That gotta be President's Day. Is that President's Day? No, it's George Washington. Oh, when, oh I guess it is President's Day. <laughs> this nigga so That's what they call it. Hey. That's what they call it, but they say I don't want to read the whole encyclopedia. But that was his birthday. Oh, so he's the first president. And yeah, they yeah. Made the, that makes sense. Yeah, definitely get rid of that shit. <laughs> what is the fuck is a president? Yeah, man? fuck a president. All forty five of them niggas. Um, what is Labor Day? Forty six, I think. When what? you work, it's just like a day off of work. Huh? What is Labor Day? Yeah. I mean, what is like? It's like celebrating. I don't know, nigga. <laughs> Labor Day is a federal working. holiday in the United States celebrated on the first Monday in September to honor and recognize the American labor movement and the works of the contributions of the laborers to development and achievements of the United States. Juneteenth. <laughs> yeah, isn't that Juneteenth, right? <laughs> <laughs> the, hey, you ask some people, would you rather have Memorial Day off or Juneteenth off? Hey. <laughs> we should ask that to some <laughs> listeners. <laughs> <laughs> that actually be a kind of a. Uh, it's a, a lot of our listeners don't even know it's Juneteenth. No, yeah, <laughs> from the ones that are here. <laughs> Juneteenth, June nineteenth. That's all I got for you. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of a. Who came up with the name though? Huh? Who came up with the name? I think Juneteenth been a that been a name for a like a long. I think it was celebrated way before it became a national holiday. Yes, obviously. But who came up with the name Juneteenth? So he just wanted it all. I mean, yeah. I feel like we need a more direct name. That's what they get though We needed a Like Juneteenth. President's Day is President's Day Martin Luther King Day Is Martin Luther King Day do, Should it be called Like Free to Slave Day We are Free Day Hell no, no. Freedom Day Slaves is so disrespectful so Freedom cool. Day Imagine somebody white Coming up to you Talking about Happy Free to Slave Day That'd be cr- <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow hey, they tomorrow, gonna put also, up- today Is opposite day <laughs> <laughs> Get over here <laughs> They're going to have the little, like, quote post. If you're feeling uh, happy today for today, be sure to free your, your local slave right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, you play, you playing at the work picnic, and, and you balling and shit, it'd be like, damn, I could, man, that nigga be worth three cattle back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga's athletic as hell. I, hey, two acres. That nigga's at least worth two acres. That's so crazy that was happening. Crazy. <laughs> it's so insane. It's crazy. Niggas was getting sold off their laziness. Like, yeah. Hey, look built. He don't really do shit for Yeah, real. and then imagine being the one that they, they like ask for a refund for. No, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. But no. better days, black people, we are thriving right now. Even though my people were never slaves, I don't think so. But we are thriving as a whole. I don't think we were. <laughs> I don't think we were, to be honest. I know that's what some black people get confused is like because our culture got so messed up because yeah. of slavery yeah. and we all just got messed together. It's just like that's probably why some of us be because we from different tribes. Like That's just true. like you know, what I'm there saying? is there is a uh, tribalism in Nigeria. Yeah. So like against different tribes, there've been wars in Nigeria just based on in one country. Yeah. I mean, there's war here. They literally different people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like I think people forget that that it's a different type of black people because we because of um, the American culture. Yeah. It just kind of fucked everything up. But it ain't our fault. You know what I'm saying? We know who fault it is. <laughs> <laughs> the oppressors. <laughs> What year was slavery in? Come man, on, come man. on. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, 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 no. no, no. We've been down that road before. We ain't going back. Yeah. Anyways, remember that the dog whisperer? Yeah, Caesar uh, Milan. This is why the fuck do you know his name? I used to watch that shit religiously. Nah, he was. I ain't like him, bro. He used to be <laughs> looking back at bully, it. All he did was bully dogs. Bro. Yeah. I remember when one of those dogs wasn't having it with that nigga. Oh, no, he bit his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that shit. He took when when that happened. He took that boy to to a doggy camp. Like he took him with him. He's yeah, like, yeah. we're gonna take, we're gonna keep him here extra long. One time they didn't get somebody's dog back because it's like, yeah, we can't. 
He's unfixable. No, anytime somebody takes some, <laughs> something from somewhere to go fix it, on the way there, they beat their ass. Like, <laughs> a bitch ass thing that embarrassing me. <laughs> now he's like, you know the reason your dog, he, he's not listening to you because you don't make him listen to you. <laughs> if that makes sense, watch this. I corner him. I corner him. He growl. I can tell your dog's a bitch. It's like, <laughs> Literally. <laughs> your dog's a bitch. He's pussy. He trying me. I tell him, don't try me. Mm. <laughs> now he did that dog. little thing he did in the side of the yeah. neck. He'd be like, Sss. I tried that with a dog one time. She was not working. Man, nigga, almost bit my finger. <laughs> you can't try that with no pit in the hood. <laughs> Chew your ass up. <laughs> no, that, those shows, like, it's just funny how those shows look so like bad looking back at him. Yeah. Like it's just like some of it doesn't seem that real. But he made a fortune off of that though. He, the dog whisper, that was like that thing. Like yeah. people want to see. And it's so funny. People just like the shit we like watching, interested in it. We wanted to see someone's dog get rehabilitated. I mean, we watched 600 pound, <laughs> my 600 pound life. Like people watch that shit. Yeah. I watch that shit all the time. I used to watch it. I watched a nigga on a porch, bro. So a nigga was sitting on the porch. It looked like he was melting. But <laughs> <laughs> the nigga was sitting on the porch, and the ice cream truck came to the street just for him, bro. Just for him? Just for him. That's low-key. And, bro, he, he, he ordered so many items. So I'm like, damn, okay, this is daily shit. So I'm already shocked. Like, man, this nigga eat all this ice cream in a day. This shit crazy. Man, the camera had to be rolling for the next 10 minutes. That nigga ate every piece of ice cream and every piece of candy, all the chips that he bought at that moment. It's like four or five bags of chips. Three, I never seen nigga eat four ice cream crumbs. Like, nigga's like immune to brain freeze. Nigga, oh, oh, that's it. That's fuck? a special power, though. That brain freeze be kicking my ass. Special power, diabetes, special power, too. <laughs> Call that nigga a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was funny what we were. We were but I, I don't know. I liked watching like um how it's made. You ever see that show? Yeah, I like that. When they're going through the conveyor belts of like how yeah, their like, products and stuff be like, like some laffy taffy or something. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, that That's shit when I fire. started re recognizing um the gummies we buy sometimes. It has like pig skin in it. Yep. Oh, I never, I never a lot knew of that. Candy has pig skin. Pig I, skin. Yeah, you yeah. Just, you just fu uh, fucked up a lot of Muslim. Right <laughs> now. No, you lie. You lie. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> <laughs> nah. nah, I can say that, bro. You can? I'm Muslim. No, you're not. Bro, how you gonna tell me if I'm Muslim or not, bro? What type of shit? That's like a nigga said. What? That's like a nigga said, I'm Christian. Nah. Like, what? Nigga, I'm Muslim. No, you're not. Bro, how you gonna tell me, bro? <laughs> Well, last time you see me eat bacon, <laughs> be real with yourself. Two weeks ago, right? <laughs> you, just became, you, just became, you just became it yesterday, bro. You can, bro. You just had eggs and chorizo. <laughs> no, that was vegan. <laughs> that was vegan chorizo. But listen, <laughs> if I walked into a church right now, let's say at some point I was never Christian, yeah, right? And I walked into a church right now and I said, "Today I'm Christian." Ain't nobody gonna be like, "Nah, you just got here." Okay. Church is supposed to be accepted. Okay. Bro, I just saw you eat chicken sausage. I converted to Islam like two hours before the show. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Bro, stop. <laughs> All right, moving on. I'm gonna try this shit out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Aisha Curry. As soon as some good shit happened, hey, y'all gotta be looking out for real. <laughs> Never had this before. <laughs> Walk across the street, almost got hit by a car. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> Y'all look. <laughs> what else we can do? I feel like the people only convert both both ways, though, either from uh, Muslim to Christianity or Christianity to Muslim. I don't, I've never heard of somebody converting to, like, um, like Hinduism or Buddhism. Buddhism. I feel like we're not around now. I feel like yeah, Muslim true. and Christianity are Just the most popular ones. Two popular ones. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Catholic. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's kind of. It's, I feel like that's popular. It's yeah. I'm just saying, like nobody. I've never heard somebody say they converted to a Catholic. You haven't? No, because they don't really be telling nobody. Yeah, that. I guess so. I feel like nobody be like, hey, I ain't gonna lie to, to you. To go bro. from to go from like being Muslim to Catholic is kind of like a. It's like you took that's, that turn. It's like you know that little fork. That's a big road. turn. Yeah, it's like I don't know. You must have found out some shit. I don't know. It's just like the. It's 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 very traditional uh, religion. I yeah. would say both are. Yeah, but I'm just saying like. 
I guess that would make more sense. Yeah. All right, we're going to stop talking about religion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway. Aisha Curry. Um, Aisha Curry was, uh, you got your phone? Yeah. You looking for your notes? I got you, man. I haven't That's looked fine. at notes yet. Yeah. I, <laughs> but Aisha Curry was, uh, was trending on Twitter the other day uh, because she was on a talk show. I think it was The View. I don't know. There's a lot of talk shows now. Mm -hmm. But, um. A man came out with like some food, and she started uh, pretending she was moving her, removing her ring off. So people were just saying, because I think uh, Aisha's kind of been through this thing of, um, well, I remember the other stuff when she said she wanted to other men to still, yeah, she wanted other men to still want her, yeah, yeah that type of stuff. <laughs> And then, you know, there's been uh, rumors about them being swingers or some shit like that, too. Yeah. Which is, anybody can spread that rumor. Yeah, that. anybody can. It's so easy to spread rumors, especially all you need, like, is a little bit of evidence <laughs> and stuff like that. But, but do you think, what do you think of the situation? It, do you think her faking, snatching her ring off? Trying I like, to, obviously, I, it's a joke. I like when people are, are, are realistic. Yeah. I don't care who the fuck you are. You could be the most faithful person out there. It's nice to be desired. By anyone It's nice to be wanted It's nice to be called Like if you're a man You've been married For 20 years It's nice for uh, Any I, You like compliments Like I get what she was saying She was being vulnerable At that yeah. point But this situation Is way different for me Like I think oh, it's different when, I think it's always different When uh, your husband's Like the best NBA player In the world Literally <laughs> You can go through like You feel like Just the United States Like country wise Because that's who's Really paying attention yeah. The most If you go Like top five 50 males and you keep going around and just be like you know who's your top 50 males that you know of popularity steph curry comes to a lot of people mind yeah so you know that your husband's a thousand times more popular than you so when you touch this ring you're saying this is steph curry yeah i don't want steph curry right now i want that man that's yeah. basically what you're like symbolizing it's not like you're just like some regular dude we gotta google who your but husband is but she was is. joking yeah, she was joking. Like, yeah, I obviously. understand that. I get that. You don't think she was joking? Nah. I mean, no, she <laughs> probably was joking, but like to joke like that, and you married, and like the uh, the circumstances. I feel, like, I feel like I feel like okay. This what this what I I am. So if you go on a TV show and you joke about something that's just you, mm -hmm. right? That's fine. But if you put me in it and you ain't even asked me, like, yeah, bro. I mean, I don't think she went on the show thinking she was going to do that. No, she didn't. That's it's what makes a, it even more It's just a dude wrong. came off with a shirt off. That's yeah. what makes it even more bogus. Right, because that was her first instance. Like, you know what I mean? She wasn't thinking. Right. But if, I guarantee if she knew what type of backlash that would have, you think she would still did it? No. Exactly. So that's the... <laughs> Not as nigga Steph Curry Like bro He's supposed to be Focusing on I think basketball. the only The only difference Draymond Green Just opted out We're worried about The wrong rings here <laughs> I think the only thing Difference would be um, That It kind of like Rumors and like Other stuff has been Happening before So That's, you know yeah. You know you do Might do that But again I still think She probably wasn't Really thinking that Deep into it No Because they probably be Very comfortable In their relationship At home And you don't know no, I don't You don't think so No I do But yeah. it's still like Bogus I don't I don't think she um like both, I don't think I see Steph both, is tripping right now. Yeah, I don't think she's tripping either. I see both sides of it though. She's still trying to <laughs> she's still trying to become her own person and like make her own name. So mm -hmm. like maybe she feels like that shouldn't affect her and she's standing up for that. Like I ain't like, okay, whatever. Y'all mm -hmm. bring up Steph, everything I do. What if she wants to be because eventually I feel like the wives and like if I was do, Oprah Winfrey husband, eventually like I'm doing something. Do you think uh Steph uh she would have been more backlash if Steph did it? Like if a girl came out and like hundred uh, percent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what bad. makes it even more bogus. Yeah, it yeah. would have been it would have been crazy. But I hate when people say that and I don't want to get into the there, male, No, there's female. double standards and there there's double standards in the world. I think there's there's some double standards is just what it, it is what it is. That's what people don't get. If people are like, oh, that's such, man. That's double standards. Like, yeah, I know. That's why I'm saying it because it's going to be perceived more this yeah. way than that way. Not me personally, but a lot of other people, mm -hmm. though. Yeah. Millions. <laughs> why we pick up our phones at the same time? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> um, GC recently did an interview uh -huh. where he said when he was coming up to save money, he only spent $2 a day. <laughs> Oh. On, on food, and then he proceeded to say all he used to get is a subway sandwich and a cookie every day. That's two dollars. <laughs> no, it was never two dollars. <laughs> he goes buying a cookie and stealing a subway sandwich, but I don't know how you steal a subway sandwich. <laughs> as soon as they put it on the counter, give me that shit. <laughs> 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 now stealing something after you make it is just like you just looked up. You're probably just looking at the person stealing, like, 
All right. <laughs> That's the thing about like food. Like once I bite it, like what are you really gonna do? Yeah. Like the thing about it is like, especially like somewhere like uh, I can't think of a place where you can get to the food before like actually paying because mm-hmm. almost every place does. But like if if I bite something, like if I'm at a gas station and I bite something and do like, oh, you gotta pay for that, and I just hand it handed it back to him. Oh shit! I ain't know. You already ate it though. Right. That means you still have to buy it. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. I ain't know that. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> nah, that be it'd be that person would be salty. My fault, bro. What you gonna do? You you can't say I'm stealing. I put it back. My fault. No, it's definitely stealing. You stole that piece of the one that's in your mouth. Nah, <laughs> that's crazy. No, that's crazy. <laughs> No, I'm gonna make myself throw up before the cops. <laughs> there it is. In not the it. same condition. You're gonna go, you're going to jail over a bitten sandwich. Oh no! Nah. Walking into a place to bite a sandwich is funny too. Kind of crazy. I remember but I used to Jeezy lying though. Just to get that. Yeah, yeah. Jeezy, Jeezy is lying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when people get on and they start capping, I think he's trying. To, you know, he's trying to like make it sound like what sounds worse, like ten dollars a day. Actually, sounds like yeah, I achievable. Get, he's trying to motivate people. Yeah, he's trying to say. Can you maybe it? averaged out to two dollars a day? Maybe it was some days. Maybe he was. Eat. Maybe someday he in heat. <laughs> Beyonce was on the set for fourteen hours. She forgot you need. Boy, I listen to that ET speed so much. <laughs> I realize this shit not motivating me. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you get dizzy one day. You, you fucking. Uh, <laughs> damn, Beyonce wasn't eating. Goddamn. I tried that. I remember I just tried fasting normally, and man, that shit is not it for me. Yeah, like intermittent fasting not for, is not for me. It's not for I, everybody. I like breakfast more, uh, too much. Yeah, I'll eat breakfast at any point of the day. That's crazy. No, it's not crazy. It's crazy. No, that's um, a, that's just your feeling. You believe going crazy. back to Juneteenth? Do you think uh, white people should have the day off? No. Whoa. Should I, have the day off. They should work hard. I mean, I so what like, if they say? I mean, oh, I, okay, y'all got to work on the Fourth of July. Then would you take that trade? So we got to work on the Fourth of July, and they got to work on Juneteenth. I mean, they're pretty close. I feel like yeah, that's fifty fifty. I'd do it. I mean, I feel like they would take off, but it wouldn't really bother them as much if they took off. I mean, like, there's not a whole bunch of their... I mean, they have to work on Juneteenth. It's yeah. still there. It's still a normal A lot thing. of companies are working. They'd rather, they'd rather be off on 4th of July because everybody's going to be celebrating. Those companies, those private companies, all of them are working. Yeah. They're not playing that shit. I told you some people just have set days they already give off. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's like not, which it's like which one do you give up? We got two black employees. We're not giving nobody off. Did you see that one? Um did you see that one it's, um it's Hennessy in the fridge, man? Did you see that one? Um <laughs> it was a video on hey, we'll the, let you wear your Jordans. <laughs> Go ahead. There was a video like on vibes. Instagram of a, or no, YouTube I saw of a lady uh, marrying herself. Marrying herself? Yeah, like full on wedding too. Was there people there? There was a decent amount of people there. Now that's crazy. Dennis Rodman. <laughs> that's that's something Dennis, he did that too, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Oh, he yeah. married himself? But this one was like for real. It seemed like it was like the lady was like real spiritual. Her honeymoon gonna be crazy. <laughs> she be flicking the bean like crazy. <laughs> You, would you get, how would you feel if you got invited to that and you didn't even know? That's what you found out. When I wouldn't you got care. There. As long as everything paid for, I'm yeah. straight. <laughs> I'm I mean, there. you got to pay for a wedding, like to get there and, and the gift. No, I'm still going. Would you still give hotel. them a gift if they're marrying themselves, like yeah. a wedding gift? Yeah, I give them a card for a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Find help, please. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting. It's better than marrying I like the- yourself than marrying an imaginary person. I think it's the same. I think it's the same. Hell too. nah, both of them. Is she sick. talking to herself? She probably is. You think they're both sick? Yeah, I think they're both like equally sick. You but think so? Marrying yourself and marrying, but they think of it's more of like a. a uh, I feel like I would understand that in the sense of like you doing that in your personal thing, like you know you're just doing it. But I mean, people probably showed up. They probably knew she was marrying herself, so she probably has really committed friends. That's they, true. They probably just said fuck it. It's a, another excuse to party and eat and free food. I hey, do it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's, it's like a get together. <laughs> no, I was going. I was going to ask you a question. Do you think pranks are going too far? Pranks? Yeah. Uh, because uh, I saw like the little like we was talking about the YK Osiris thing on mm-hmm. um, Patreon, but then Lil Duval got pranked. The dude he yeah. actually got pranked by the dude that was going to be on our podcast. Yeah. The 
I just I think I told you that. Mu papi mio, dude. Yeah. Mu papi mio. Pablo know that shit real well. Yeah. He know how to say Munoño? Perfect. Munoño, whatever. Mu mio, mu Yeah, 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 that dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Little <laughs> ass name. But um so he did that to Duval here and his security like hopped on Duval. I mean hopped on his ass or whatever and stuff like that. And Duval was like, I don't play that shit, blah blah. But you've been hearing about all these prank people starting to get like punched on. Yeah. One got shot earlier this because year. Because I think the tier of pranking is just you have to elevate, you have to do stuff more that's more catching. Cause we're in that microwave uh, era of like TikTok and Instagram reels and people want to go viral. So they're gonna do the most outrageous shit. They somebody already did like a normal prank, like a boo, scare you prank. Right, you have to go a level up from that now because right. you can't keep doing that. There's no way to keep innovating that. Right, and uh, some of that do uh, pranks. I think are not uh, a lot of those people pranks are not that real either. So yeah, that's why some of them seem extreme. Yeah, but a lot of people, a lot, a lot of man, it's crazy. It just I don't know because we we reward it though. Yeah, every everything that's rewarded. So you know, if I put. Uh, do the whipped cream on the hand, feather on the face trick, and that, and I put that online. That should probably get like forty-seven likes, and it stays very local, mm. all friends. But if I set the back of my friend's head on fire while he sleep, that's gonna go viral, guaranteed. Yeah. So I'm guaranteed to go viral. And if I don't have a talent that will ever get me viral, should hey, I set this nigga on fire. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I hate the pranks. I hate the most is anything like if somebody's sleeping, because I just imagine if it was me and how angry I would be. Like right. I would, I'd see red. I definitely <laughs> fighting though. Yeah, 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 that's the thing about it. If you getting bullied right now, man, I'm gonna tell you the real life, man. Just fight back. Just fight back. You would be the worst motivator, Stevie. Hey, I've been trying, huh? If you've been trying and learn how to fight, look up some YouTube videos. <laughs> <clears throat> You want people to turn to Hercules and if they're getting jumped? Something, bro. I'm sick of it. Man. If they're getting right. jumped? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I think he Detroit dust. You're going to get niggas killed. Get a machete. <laughs> All you got to do is slice one of them niggas. I guarantee they don't come back. <laughs> All right, we're going to get to listen to their cars, man. Uh, do work, man. I seen, uh, no, one more thing. I no, seen, save it. No, I seen drilling in UK is crazy. What? Like you know, like UK drill. When somebody going to you, uh, a New York drill, they, yeah. it's like shooting. But UK drills, like with knives and machetes. Yeah, it's not the fact that they stabbing a the nigga. It's just the fact that it's niggas screaming, bro. Yeah, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> ah. I think people get scream if they get shot. Yeah, but you. But can it's end different. It. It's you repetitive kinda, when you getting stabbed. Yeah, yeah, it is. And like you can get stabbed three times. They be talking about run. that shit. Some of them be wearing masks when they be rapping. No, that's just crazy. They don't play around. No, 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 no. I'd definitely rather be shot than five niggas come up and stab me. Yeah. With a machete. <laughs> I'd rather neither, to be honest. Right. <laughs> All right. So listen to call us. <laughs> what's okay. what's one thing that you've never told anybody else before? All right, one thing I never told anyone else. All right, so about fifteen years ago, my my mom told me about my dad. You know, because I'm asking questions. And she was like, oh, your dad was this big-time lawyer. He was married, had a family. But I didn't know until I told him I was pregnant. I was like, well, okay. So found out his name and everything. So ever since then, he moved away. Apparently, he paid my mom some money, so they wouldn't say nothing about me. So, you know, found his information. So every year on my birthday, I'm like, hey, ain't your son's birthday today? And then just hang up after that. <laughs> now trolling your dad be dad is next level. <laughs> hey, and so so look, and then um, when I graduated from high school, I'm like, hey, you got a son that graduated from high school today, don't you? And he's going on, oh, who the fuck is this? Who, who is this? How you know? And I just hang up on him. So when I graduated college, I'm like, bro, you still ain't talked to your son? He graduated college today, didn't he? Now you know what you yeah. sound like right now. What's up? You sound like uh, Will Smith. I had 16 great birthdays without him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I learned how to shoot a basketball, didn't I? I got pretty good. Hey, good huh? hey, Damn, what, 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 you don't want me, man? Why you don't yeah. want me? Now, that's yeah. fucked up, Dad. Your dad didn't want you, though. That's man, crazy. It's okay because, you think there's anything uh, you did? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It's just, you know, you know, n- niggas be lying. They want some ass. They just be lying. How's your left hand layup? <laughs> Hey, left hand layup, crazy, reversing everything. I wonder why that nigga left. Uh, what else? 
Hey nigga, could you throw a football? It's some, you pissed that nigga off somehow. <laughs> it looked too much like your mom. <laughs> hey, that's probably what it was. Damn, you made me feel like Wilson for real, man. Why you don't want me? You got me thinking now. Look, nah, look, you we def- ain't gonna do that. Nah, you definitely we gotta. Do that? You definitely gotta keep being successful. You definitely gotta shit on that nigga. What? Oh yeah, my next what's something happens? To- I'm a. Hey. <laughs> What if something happens to you, like you go to jail and then he trolls you and calls you and say, "Don't I, don't I got a son that's in jail?" <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick. Now that's fucked I'm, up, I'm like, though. After that, I gotta go public. I gotta go public after that. I gotta tell everybody who he is. Shit, you might as well now. Well, on that note, Father's Day is in a couple of weeks, so uh, it's t- it's and I'm gonna week. call him and be like, "Don't you got a son from 15, 20 years ago that you know you ain't seen?" Now that's crazy. Oh, okay, and then hang up on him. So you can hit a reverse layup. He's still not fucking with you. Hey, what do this I don't know want? what it is. <laughs> what more can I guess because I'm bowlegged. I don't know, man. Ah, there, oh, we, there, there we are. We got to ball of this, there man. Who needs therapy? <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got other kids? Yeah, he got two other kids that he had with his wife. They've been married for, I'm I'm 27, so they've been married for almost 30 years. How old? How old are they? Uh, I know one of them, she's 31, and the other one is 29. Oh, it's two girls? Nah, a girl and a boy. Oh, so do you have a relationship with them? Nah, they don't know about me. I'm, I'm thinking about trolling them now that we're talking about it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> might as well. They really... Do it for the storyline. Oh, they older than you, too. Yeah, they older. Damn. Yeah, man, fuck your dad, man. Like, I mean, hey, we've been going this long without him. Might as well keep it up, right? Nah, yes, this definitely, you definitely need therapy, though, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, it'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> you must, man, black people, we need therapy, man, for every man, situation. Hey, you, you, you right, you right, you right. But yeah. I'm okay. Well, glad you're okay, man. Glad you're okay. Glad you're doing well. You sound pretty successful. You learned how to shoot a basketball, didn't you? Exactly. Exactly. I had sixteen yeah. great birthdays. <laughs> nah, Alright, bro. Peace. Peace, man. Fuck that nigga. Hey, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Keep doing what y'all doing. Give your, a, hey, give your pops a shout saying. out, man. Hey, it's alright. <laughs> oh, oh shit. shit. It's alright. <laughs> right now. Come on now. But I've been a huge fan, man. Been listening to y'all since about episode eight. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. We it was a little shaky, but but around episode about thirty. Yeah, y'all picked it up, and I, I've been a fan ever since. I right, appreciate you. Appreciate, hey, appreciate you. you, man. Appreciate you. Real one. Hey, y'all, y'all keep it up, all right? Hey, appreciate it. All right. Welcome to Crash from these podcasts. What's good? What's up, man? What's good? What's good? What's good with you? I've been chilling. I've been vibing. you just hmm. been vibing? Vibing? Are you celebrating uh, the holiday today? Uh, Nope. I'm not celebrating shit today, my boy. I've been chilling. You know what holiday it is? What holiday is it? Oh, no, no, no. Father's Day was when? <laughs> just yesterday? <laughs> they can't get nothing to her daddy, my boy. You know what that means? No, wait, listen. <laughs> what, you don't know what holiday it is today? No, sir. It's June 19th. Well, I don't know. I have no recollection. <laughs> you ever heard of Juneteenth? Oh, June 19th? Yeah, I learned that at school. <laughs> 19th Amendment, my boy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not the amendment, the, the holiday. No, sir. It's, uh, I, I know it's about African Americans. What's it? You're not celebrating? No, sir. I'm not celebrating. I'm not even celebrating in Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> my boy, if I don't even care about myself, my <laughs> that's real. That's real. All right, All right Brody. It. Thanks for coming on. All right, bro. Appreciate it. All right, peace. peace. Stay safe. Yo, what's the deal? Welcome to Crash Jimmy's Podcast. What's good? What's good, y'all? What's good? What's good? What's good? All right, I got a question for you. Yes, sir. What's an unpopular opinion that people will not like you for? I don't believe Helen Keller's real. She's not real. She's fake as fuck. Y'all can't tell me she's a real person. Why do you think she's fake? I just don't believe God would make somebody else deaf and blind at the same time. This, On I, top of that, you cannot tell me he's out here flying planes. I won't believe that. She, the, I think she did fly a plane, too. How? How, <laughs> what? How, what? I feel like, can't she read Braille? 
or How feel, bro. Help you fly a plane? Because you can read the instructions. I think it, I heard it was like a guided plane ride too. You know how you give your little brother that controller that's not plugged in? <laughs> <laughs> like, huh? That's just that's that's putting too many people's lives in danger right there. I, I can't do that. I'm sitting on the plane. They tell me, yo, Helen Keller flying the plane today. What the fuck? <laughs> It should make Helen Keller fly a commercial plane. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you hear your pilot say? <laughs> you get on the intercom. Uh, welcome to United Airlines. T- I just wanted to let you guys know if there's any turbulence, I am partially blind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, and then she talking about, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the night. Nigga talking about, it's noon. Motherfucker, she upside down and shit. Because she a bat and she blind. Um... <laughs> Oh, uh, I appreciate you coming on, Brody. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate right, y'all. Hey, right. hold on, uh, Pat. <laughs> Whoa, what? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an audio listener, but I do be on YouTube at the same time. So, like, I don't take what you say offensive, but like, you just gotta chill out just a little bit. So, so you listen to audio and YouTube? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it depends on what I'm doing at the time. You know, oh, so you, you go both ways, <laughs> bisexual? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's not, that's crazy. Oh, you try to get me. That's crazy. No, you, nah, nigga, nah. no, you really buy it, my nigga. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it either. We accept you. So, have you guys ever came from here before? <laughs> this is a wild way to start after listener callers. <laughs> Why are you asking this, Key? Because that shit was such an amazing moment in my life. Like that I, is the first time it happened to you? Yeah, like ever in history. That shit felt like God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rephrase that. I mean, that shit felt good. There you go. <laughs> that nigga added a, that nigga added a hole. <laughs> Well, <laughs> adding, a, adding a letter to correct yourself is kind of crazy. Nah, that, that statement was crazy. Nah, <laughs> Damn. Nigga, what? <laughs> Felt like he did it himself. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you know how they be saying praise dance in church and shit? Yeah. That's how I was. You was doing the, the praise dance? Yes, in the bed. I was like, ah, not here from the <laughs> bed. <laughs> ah! Tired, keep, keep, keep. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I swear we got another topic. I swear we got a bad topic. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is like my fifth time saying, whoa, nigga. <laughs> when I do this. <laughs> Slow down just a little bit, my nigga. It's like it's a, oh, oh. <laughs> God, that's crazy. It, you got any other thing that's to say? <laughs> I'm scared <laughs> to ask you for your other topics. <laughs> you got any other topics? I got, uh, what places? <laughs> what places shouldn't have the options for tips? I thought you were about to say tits. I was about to say. <laughs> I have a. a my, I have another topic on tits. Should be allowed later. everywhere. <laughs> Titties. Um, what? What places titty, should? How is titty spelled? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> what places shouldn't have the option to tip? Uh, <laughs> trying to think. Um, um, Qdoba. You shouldn't. You think you don't think you should tip the person that made your? Hell no. That's a regular. That's a regular job. Yeah, like and they're getting paid hourly. Yeah, he is getting paid hourly. Like way more hourly than the people who actually need tips. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I feel like any place they don't, you, there's not like a waiter or a waitress type of thing situation. I just never like the like I'm checking out and then you're asking for it till like we like at Alley Boys, right? Yeah. Now you're forcing my hand because I'm a really <laughs> good tipper. You're forcing me, knowing like I feel like it's for the people that it's not for people that don't tip. Obviously, they were never going to tip. It's for like us, like yeah. we're like fuck, like <laughs> this screen popped up and all you did was like. Make my sandwich that I'm paying for. Yeah, I already paid you. Yeah, I already paid you, my nigga. Like, isn't and then you tipping at Qdoba? These niggas working together. <laughs> like, nigga, like, hey, I came in here last Bro, year and you was doing a bowl, nigga. I when forget- you get to the register, 
I <laughs> forgot. No work ethic. For I, forgot, <laughs> I forgot where I was, but then you know, like some places they have the tip machine where you like you turn it the screen over and you can just press it. Yeah, yeah. This person didn't have it, so they asked, "Would you like to leave a tip?" And then you have to, t- and you say yes. They'll say, "Oh, how much?" So, <laughs> so one time I just did for like tipping. It was like a taco truck or some shit. And I was like, "Oh no, thank you." <laughs> it's just like the look I gave. I'm like, and the other time you say a dollar's like, damn, now you all in my business and shit. I don't know. I just feel like it's way weirder to say, no. "Would you like to ask somebody? Would you like to leave a tip?" One time this, uh, I was at this girl was like handing out balloons or some shit. <laughs> Man, I was about to say what. An escort? <laughs> Did that sound like the way? The was? girl, and then you said tip. Oh, was this girl thing. was handing out like balloons. She was handing out like, uh, like these string balloons. I yeah. was like, oh, I take one. Then she was like, oh, I take tips too. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, I got a tip for you. Don't trust niggas. <laughs> and I stole the balloon. <laughs> I used to steal tips when I was younger. From where? Like, um, you guys remember Old Country Buffet? <laughs> I used to walk around the table because I used to ask my like you remember the movie? <laughs> That's a badass kid. Were you a big bigger kid too? Um, nah. I was just like ahead of time. <laughs> 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 Nigga, what? <laughs> Nigga, tell me I'm so futuristic. <laughs> <laughs> you used to steal from o- OCB? Yes, bro. Is Old Country Buffet still open? Yeah, nah. I think so in some places. Gold Country. I mean, <laughs> Golden Corral is. No, I, still, Gra- I still never been to Golden Corral. Golden Corral is some like, I feel like everybody in there got diabetes. That shit nasty. <laughs> you either here I've for, never been there. You either it's here disgusting. for a team event or you just big as hell. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't nothing there good to eat anymore. Do people still go to buffets in general? Yeah. Hell yeah. When's that time you've been to a buffet? Uh, like two weeks ago for my, uh, <laughs> wait, no, wait a minute. <laughs> like I said, duh. <laughs> for a graduation party. Oh, somebody had their graduation party at a buffet. Yeah, that makes sense. You go to buffets <laughs> all the time if you think about it, because you, you're going to a wedding soon. That's going to be a buffet. Eh? Sometimes you only get one serving. They like no, give no. you a plate. Nah. Oh, if you yeah, only get one plate yeah. at no, the wedding, right. that's foul. No, you're right. Yeah. But some some people be doing buffet style. No, some people do. But when you go to a black wedding, they usually do buffet. So you should have buffet. <laughs> yeah. You went to all. Black but when's the last time you've been to a buffet, like an actual buffet? An act like the like the place is known for buffets. Yeah. Like a Chinese. The last one I've been to was a Chinese oh, buffet. Was that, was a Chinese same, same. that was years ago, though. Yeah. That was in years. I don't know. That was it. That was it's definitely. Been a while. That was years from mine. Me. Might have been Pizza Ranch, the one in Sheboygan. That was a long time ago. They have a buffet there. Yeah, that is the buffet, Pizza Ranch. I never been there, but I that might have been like 2014. Were they good? Huh? Were they good? Pizza Ranch. I mean, it was like pizza, and I was like fucking 21. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People are, are are mad at Gunplay, the rapper, MMG uh, rapper, for M- um, Maybach music for gifting. Rick Ross a chain while he was in bed fake sleeping and while all while having a GoFundMe for uh, his daughter's like surgery stuff like that so people have actually been when refunding <laughs> taking their donations back <laughs> people have been taking their donations back you don't need this nigga Come because here. No, I definitely would have took my shit back yeah. and like no offense to him <laughs> But it's just like not a smart move. The thing is that the thing is that even as you gifted Rick Ross a chain, it's like why did I see it? Like why was it recorded? And why was Rick Ross fake sleeping in bed and waking up? And you were like walking up to him with a chain. It's so many. It's, it's so many questions. The other question is, let's say you, you this is an old video. Why didn't Rick Ross give you that chain back to help with your? Like why are you asking money from? That was an old video. It was a newly posted video. That's what I'm saying. Why are you asking money from us if you got? You know what I'm saying? Because the, like, the thing is that we 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 people. I didn't donate because I didn't know that about it. But the people donate because they felt in the emotional tie tied to your daughter and what she was going through. And then to to give to somebody that's already rich, first of all, uh, exp- expensive looking chain because you would think Rick Ross not gonna accept no super cheap shit, right? <laughs> and then all while asking for money when that means you have enough money. To do this, then. even then, like your 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 friends, your your friend is right there. The person that signed you the label is right there, and then you're asking. Basically, these are your fans because I'm guessing those are the first people to know about the yeah. GoFundMe. You had to follow him somewhat, so those are his fans. Is like, bruh, <laughs> I'm definitely taking my shit back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like being on the street and then someone coming to you in some uh, like a ripped ass Hanes shirt, 
some jean shorts and just like, hey, man, can I get a dollar? You're like, damn, here go two, three, four. Right, but somebody come to you in some Balenciagas and shit like that, like nigga, like you got more money than me. Exactly, you got five thousand dollars worth of clothes on. Nigga, take the Balenciaga runners go. off and go run and get some money. I gotta go and see Gunplay's response. He was mad as hell. I'm seeing a therapist about all this. Like literally, I got the phone call from my father. My father listens to the um, Breakfast Morning Club show. And he Hold was on. right, so I told him like, call. Okay, I'm gonna do it the next day. Your lesson. Every single one of you ass holes and f***ing Richard that went to go fund me and and donated and went and get a motherfucking refund, you never gave it with your heart. Mm. You a piece of shit. Oh God! You'll die that way, Richard. Mm. Not for real. I didn't even know you could do refunds on GoFundMe. That's crazy. But in ninety days, mm -hmm. people that see me give my brother a gift. They automatically want to say that I bought that with GoFundMe money. N had to pay that back. So now, if you really want to be for real, my if a nigga spun out on the chain, how the f they got it right back instantly. Right. Yeah, the thing that huh? the thing. Nah, he doesn't. He don't make he's still not making sense because he was saying that people thought that you, he used GoFundMe money, and I'll, people didn't think he used the GoFundMe money. I didn't think so either. <laughs> yeah. I just thought that you used other yep. money. Yeah, that yeah, you the had. Money. yeah. So that means that you know, if you're looking at that chain, unless you're telling us that chain is fake. Then. Yeah. Like, and they say they didn't give it with their heart if you took it back. No, they gave it with their heart. It's just that why. you, you fooled it. Exactly. Them the main people with hearts. Yeah. If I just gave the shit $20, I would never check on a situation. Yeah. But if I gave that shit with my heart and then find out you got a... If I'm looking at that, that look like a $40,000 chain, $50. Exactly. Like, come on now. That's fine. <laughs> like, how much was the GoFundMe for? I don't know how much GoFundMe went to, but I guarantee it was up there with the same value as that chain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, or he's more. slow. Yeah. It was... <laughs> I don't. I, I didn't get it. I didn't understand why he was angry about I'll that. I'll take my shit back. You can call me. Hey, if I'm a diet piece of shit, I got twenty dollars <laughs> richer too, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I saw this video of this dude. Right, so he went. He took his favorite homeless person. Mm -hmm. Right, the person that he gave money to all the time, and he let the homeless person decide who he should give money to. So he went back in his. Uh, Look like a neighborhood, and he had all these homeless people lined up. Yeah, and basically, he just asked the other homeless dude, or well, the homeless dude that he had, he asked him like, "Who's on drugs?" And be like, "Is he on drugs?" And then the homeless dude be like, "No." Nah. Then he'd give him some money. And he kept doing that, and then at the end, he was like, "What about these three? And he's like, "Yeah, they all on drugs." <laughs> <laughs> Like imagine that bro. Yeah. You just come with that power Like you've been beefing With another homeless dude Come with that power I don't like the The, the pause in between it Come <laughs> With that power That was crazy What's your month Let's go <laughs> <laughs> no, come on crazy. I'm done talking <laughs> uh, Larsa Pimpin and Marcus Jordan uh, Launched uh, a podcast Called uh, Separation Anxiety And then this is just like a, a snippet. Out and like mm -hmm. trying to be low key. And then we didn't trust anyone ever. We went, we yeah, were like no, scared of like, we're like, were like camera. ducking from flashes in the club and all this yeah. stuff. You were at a position earlier when we first met that you didn't want to take on all the smoke. You know, I was kind of skeptical because yeah. I kind of felt like, why would you do this, Larsa? Why would you do this? Why would you date someone that, you know, just the families, it's just a, a really crazy situation to be in. Yeah. I feel like we were but that was just a promo. But they also talked about like, um, that she didn't know him as a kid, that type of stuff. Oh. And the age gap is not that much. But I don't know. It was just kind of interesting that they they they, they started a podcast. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. That situation is still weird to me. She didn't watch him grow up. I guess it's a little bit different. Yeah. The age gap isn't too crazy, I think. No. Um, still, if it's George and Pippen again, though. It's, it goes back to, like, the Aisha Curry thing that we was talking about. Yeah. Like, you know how it's going to be perceived. Yeah. But I guess you can't choose who you, you like, You can't right? choose who you like, I guess. Oh, I mean, you yeah. can, I guess. You can choose who you like. Talking about separation anxiety. Your dad gave all, you all the separation you needed. <laughs> <laughs> on his jumpers, nigga. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, that's a crazy situation. The only person that's really fucked up is, like, Scottie Pippen. It's just, like, he already went through this shit with yeah. Malik Beasley and uh, Future and stuff like that. Uh, his kid I'm saying No Scotty Pippen 
Oh, okay. Saying you got to deal with her exes all the time and her new booze and stuff. Tough. Scotty Pippen be getting shit on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that NBA only uh, suspended John Morant for like 25 games. That's a, that's a lot, bro. It's not a lot at the beginning the dude, of the season. The, I think the I'm mouth- just saying the way they're making it seem, it seemed like it was about to be some like unprecedented, like, uh, no, bro, for it to be a non violent offense. But that's it still crazy. didn't hit like that, though. Like, nobody. What do you want it? What, what no, the, the way Adam Silver was saying that was going to happen, it seemed like he was going to be suspended like half the season to like damn near the whole season. 25, 25 games, uh, they calculated it could literally cost him $50 million. Yeah. Damn. Ew. When you have another hundred, that don't, they don't. It, it, no, that shit means something. It means something, but it's just you like got that fifty to go somewhere else. But you don't think you can't think about it that way because at that point he just never had it. Nah, he def that shit definitely hurt. No, I'm it sure. hurts to lose fifty million dollars. Definitely That's what hurts. They but, saying, but if I had, if I was gonna get one fifty and I only get a hundred mil, it's just like that. To me, I, my mindset was that fifty million just never existed. Like this right. is the contract I signed. That's the the worst thing to happen, especially in this day and age, is to actually be popular and to actually do something wrong. Because yeah. it's like people that's popular that get rumors spread about them and then they gotta fight that. Like, oh, and then man, they showed this. the gun that he had was a candle. Yeah, well, one of them. One of them. Yeah, he didn't repost that though, right? So that just goes. Uh, I think so. old, I don't think, no, oh, there's no, no way, there's no, no way, mm-hmm. there's no way, uh, I saw a Joe Budden and them asked this question on their podcast, and he was asking, um, do you think uh, John Moran's going to get any more trouble um, this season? This season? In in general. Nah. You think he's clean slate from now on? Yeah. If he does, he's an idiot. I mean, we said that I last really, time. I, but you got to think about the, the second situation, I get, I understand, it's like, Okay, the first situation he said he got super drunk. Yeah, he was. He literally, you can tell he's in a private room. Not trying to make any excuses, but he in a private room with some strippers and stuff like that. And yeah, he got super drunk and then thought, you know, I'm listening to young boy. I got this gun. Let me put it like that was his live. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The second situation, people still don't realize that was like 0.7 seconds, but they literally had to screenshot it, and the shit's still blurry. Yeah, like of somebody else's of like him riding around probably. His neighborhood and just listening to music, probably just blowing off steam like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's not like he got on the live the second time and pointed a gun at it. Like I don't, oh shit, like I don't give a fuck about nothing or mm-hmm. nothing, something like that. So he like he barely got caught the second time. Yeah. So I guarantee you, like hell no. Yeah. He probably won't even be near that shit where he thought he could get away with it. Could you? He didn't really get suspended the first time. Yeah, he missed like eight games or ten games. I don't and even he, know I think if it was, was that. And he was hurt. He a was little already bit too. hurt yeah. a little bit too. So and it was leading right up to the playoffs yeah. too. So it's just like this is like real, like twenty five games. First of all, I know yeah, you're but, not fucking up within this twenty five games. Yeah, he got to get some of that money back too. Because the thing, the, the the that's what I'm saying. Like he's gonna sign a he's gonna sign a contract that's gonna get him that money back. Somewhere, but, somewhere, somewhere. And also with the new like CBA rules or some shit, you got to play sixty games to be eligible for any postseason awards, like all NBA. Yeah, so he's already ineligible for that. Oh, so no matter what he does. Yeah, he already missed out on millions of dollars. That's what I was saying. He already missed out. He can't even get all NBA mm-hmm. or All Star to get any of those stuff. Well, I think you can get All Star. You can get All Star. He can't get any all NBA stuff. They said they're going back to the old format for trying to go to old format for. For All Star, which is just East and West, they literally I like that. The only thing they gotta do is like come up with a theme every year, because every first year of the theme, whether it's like dunk contest or All Star game, the players try hard as hell the first year, and mm-hmm. it's interesting. And then the second year, it fall off. You just gotta give them something new every year. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Let's talk about nipples now. Um, <laughs> I thought you really had something to say about titties. I do have something to say about titties. Oh, you dead ass. Yeah, I'm just about to talk about right now. Katie has so, some big ass titties. <laughs> so you know how like when you see uh a girl's breast on the internet, right? Yeah. It's usually like the part that's like covered up that's like the the forsaken part is the nipples. The, the nipple, right? Right? Which is kind of weird to me. Why is like you can show your whole thing and the, you can just have tape on your your nipples and it's like boom, you're not naked. <laughs> because that make the titty. Yeah, it but take the so titty from being a five out of ten to a ten out of ten. So there's been a, a movement where oh, ass nipples, girl. There's been a movement where <laughs> I just playing, so guys man. so guys can have their nipples showing on the internet, right? Without it being deemed as nudity, right? So what. Well, their movement has started is that they're taking cropping like guys' nipples and putting it over women's nipples. Oh, so yeah, nipple covers, that. so male nipple covers. Yeah, but would that would that still be considered 
It's not the same. Though. It's definitely not the same. I don't know what would be equivalent. <laughs> like, can I show my balls and not show the bottom of them? Like, hey, <laughs> these look like balls. You don't know. But but then men are very hidden in in movies and stuff like that. Like you don't, I, you don't if you see like a sex scene, you don't never see the dudes like. No, that's crazy. Asking me the last dick I saw. What's the last dick you <laughs> seen in the movie? Dude? I'm just saying though, you had never seen that. You've seen girls like breasts and stuff like that. Yeah. I never know like the correct term to say breast titties. I feel like each one is like a different I mean, situation. Yeah, like if you're shows. more sexual, I don't know. It's like is it it's more titties, Tits. boobies, boobies? You say boobies? Boobies, no. is, no. <laughs> <laughs> boobies is definitely. Let me like, see your boobies, baby. <laughs> that sounds crazy. That don't even sound. Let me see titties, baby. That's actually a hit. <laughs> that shit was cold. <laughs> but yeah, that's the movement. That's a movement that started. I don't know. I support it. Yeah, I support. Yeah. I support. You know, you know, there's some dudes out here that still don't like the they girl leaving with the free nipple look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Blah, 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 you showing off your titties, like man. A lot of more dudes than seen them than you think. <laughs> 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 don't be worried about me seeing them. Don't be worried about. You, you Is know? it like a dude being super cautious of what the girl wears and the, and their only and their only fans girl? That sometimes you like you ever talk to a girl and they they tell you like some shit that they ex used to do and you'd be like, God damn. <laughs> She's like, oh my God. Oh my God. Thanks for opening the door for me. Oh, my boyfriend used to hate doing that. Like, fuck you was dating Hitler. <laughs> fuck. Women put up with a lot of crazy shit. They do. Yeah, for sure. No, hundred <laughs> percent. Cause they be loving like a motherfucker, bro. I, I remember like, this nigga is broke. <laughs> Y'all keep splitting the foot long. How you gonna keep doing this? Like, he trying to get different meats on the foot long. You put turkey on this half. What you want? Ham on? Y'all not doing that? <laughs> Fuck it, I ain't paying that. <laughs> uh, Redditors hacker issues ransom demands for cash and API changes to Reddit. So these red uh, hackers pretty much hacked Reddit, and now they're asking for money. That's like the whole. Thing of like uh, internet ransom, like for files, because they what they have is like 800, 80 gigabytes of of important documents and stuff like that. Mm. It's like that shit is worth so much money to these businesses Man. that they're willing to do anything to give it up. Hell yeah! But <laughs> I just wonder like how people even get into like the the hacking ra- ransom stuff because we never hear about when they get caught or what happens with them because they probably end up working for the government and shit like I that. I mean, it's like. Anytime, what I feel like the hackers and everything comes from is like when you're doing something, you know, just randomly, like mm-hmm. let's say you're building a website and you're building a website, be like, damn, you work, let's say you're working on a website and you code and you just be like, damn, why is this code so weak? And then your boss goes, well, they haven't developed a really good security for that type of code. So that's always going to be a weak spot. In yeah. So, and then you'd be like, damn. I can hack. And then you find out like, oh, if I hack this, then I can send that to myself and get this type of money. And that's easy because I already know they, the information. A lot of a lot of companies now, like when I worked in um, this uh, in, uh, healthcare tech company, um, a lot of them would do like hackathons. Like uh, they want active hackers to try to hack their systems like yeah. every day, mm-hmm. every month. Like people get paid for that just to see what holes they have. Uh, in their system yeah. So there's jobs In like learning How to hack And stuff like that But I always feel like When you learn How to be a hacker You've had to do some Random shit To know that you guys You can hack some Real shit Exactly <laughs> so. And also And also like It does it's, it's tough Especially when you're A bigger business Because now you're Relying on like Your employees yeah. And just because <laughs> you're, All businesses Relying on their employees I'm saying like <laughs> You're relying on like I'm talking about the bigger the honesty businesses. of your opponent, but, your in, but but no, I'm just saying like the bigger businesses, like let's say you're a CEO and then the people below you are obviously like the VP and the mm-hmm. president of blah blah, right? So you got all them people, but it goes all the way down to like the dude that just does the boxes, right? And yeah. He has an email, so you talking to a dude, he doesn't have a college education, never been around computers. He checking this email and say, hey boss. Thanks for that email you got me. I sent you the $50 you needed to borrow. <laughs> it's like, nigga, I'm your boss. And they go, why would you send me $50? Now they hacking the system. So they got to rely on, like, all those people. Yeah, everybody like, to be safe with their, their stuff. And like, if you, if you see an account saying that it's me, it's not. <laughs> Literally say at AOL.com. Man. I remember this freaking. We have our own website. This Nigerian dude tried to prank me. Uh, not prank me. Uh, scam me. Saying that, you know, they needed money, this and that. And. 
there's always funny when you start speaking like the language that they know that's fucked. Like they just hang up the phone. So mm. I, it was, I forgot it was like, they wanted me to send money and stuff like that. So I was leading them on. I actually went to like uh, the money order place uh, to actually get the money order, just to read them the numbers and shit like that. Cause I forgot the number of digits mm -hmm. and then it just got to the point. Then I said some shit and he just like hung up the phone. It's like, bro, bro didn't even have the guts to like argue back and forth. The worst hack, the worst scammers are the scammers that argue with you. That you tell them it's, you, you're scamming me and they'll argue like tooth and nail why they're not scamming you. I always act like I'm the cops. That's the only way to do it. <laughs> like why? 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 I always go like real quiet and back. Two more seconds we'll have his address. Keep him online. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing, man? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Is it the police? It's like I'm a, of a prince from Nigeria. And me too. Right. <laughs> like I'm a prince from Nigeria too. Dude. I seen something about a Nigerian guy has scammed an Asian guy, I think, mm. out of $30 million. And um, the Asian guy thought he was buying an airport. In the Nigerian guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. I think it was. Just, I forgot it was. I don't know who it was, but it was like the, it was Nigerian that scammed people into buying an airport, a whole airport that never existed. Thirty million dollars that didn't exist. <laughs> 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 they thought they hit a lick. <laughs> Scamming somebody for thirty million, do and you getting scammed for that much money means, without doing your due diligence is like it, crazy. But it also means you got money to fucking blow. Yeah, I mean your mind. Because if I'm spending thirty million, that must be all my money. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm watching every dollar. Now nah, this look like a scam. My yeah, mind. but thirty million, he must got money because he took his eye off that shit. Yeah, for know what sure. What's going on? Anyway, but yeah, that's all y'all getting. <laughs> Cut them off. <laughs> this has been uh, Crash Dummies episode. 107. 107. If you're not part of the Patreon, subscribe to the Patreon. Links are in the bio and description. Follow Key uh, wherever on all platforms. Our link in the description so you can see his songs. What's the name of the song? Key Rio, right? Yeah, Key Free Rio. K -E -E Key Free, Free Rio. Rio. Key has some other songs dropping as well. Um, Pat's going to do some more stand-up comedy. I also have Thank a fight. Me. Yes, we have to force him to do it. Uh, I got a fight coming up. Uh, in Green Bay, Wisconsin, my first professional fight, um, July 22nd. Cast these um, hands. Go to my personal profile. You guys can follow me there and kind of follow the journey if you guys want to. Um, yeah, this has been episode 107 Crash Dummies Podcast. Peace. No Moogly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>